Hi everyone, it's Ellen, and I thought I'd make a quick tutorial about how to access your uh, feedback through the assignments, the rubric feedback, as well as any comments that I may have provided. Um, and it seems like it's not that straightforward. So if this video is incorrect and what I tell you to look for you can't see, let me know and I'll take this video down and I'll figure out a better way to give you the feedback. But I thought this was a clever solution and I could be wrong. Moodle is not necessarily the most user friendly <laughs> for some things, so I have to do some work around sometimes. Um, so uh, I've clicked on Moodle and I'll find our course which is Science 120. I love this class. This is the neatest class to me. So um, I currently have the instructor view and what we'll do is I'll show you what I see and I won't show you everyone's uh, feedback and scores obviously but I'll show you what I see and then I'll click the student view and show you what I see for the feedback that I gave myself. Now I'll be able to see that feedback that I gave for myself both in the teacher view and the student view but it's a fun journey to do together. I love exploring. So um, I'm in module one and scroll down to grade for introducing yourself. So if I click here then it will show me some information that you may not see. So it'll show me who submitted or at least a number of submissions. Don't worry about submitting any Thing. You don't need to submit anything here. Your submission is on Flipgrid. This gives me uh, an easy way to put a grade in that Moodle accepts and says, oh, that's cool. Thank you for grading this. Um, otherwise, it's a little more tedious and I have to do everything manually. So, all right. So if I look at this, it tells me some things and then it shows me the rubric that we're using. Let me hide that to make it a little bit bigger. So here's the rubric and it just has a series of different things that I can choose. And then if I scroll down, um, boy, oh yes, if I scroll down, it says, Ellen, you have not submitted anything. And I say, I know because my submission is on Flipgrid. And so that's fine. It doesn't communicate with Flipgrid. But what you'll see is the feedback that I gave myself, which actually, um, uh, well, I shouldn't grade myself, but I just gave an example. So here's the feedback that I gave. Yes, I did this. So I get half a point for all these things, um, one point for these things, and I didn't lose any points because I was on time. And then here's my feedback comments. So mine are really short. <laughs> I just wanted to see if it worked. So I have da ti da. <laughs> and so that's what I see as an instructor when I look at feedback for myself. And I see something sort of similar when I look at feedback that I've given um, people without my name. So I'm going to move this over and go up here and show you the magical thing that we instructors can do. We can switch our role to become a student or a librarian. And I'm not um, qualified to be a librarian, but I am qualified to be a student. So here, and let me just go through the whole process again, click on module one, and it'll take me to what you should see for module one. And that's everything that you've done. Um, and then this thing that says click here to see your grade on an assignment on this assignment and my feedback. So again, this is what you submitted through Flipgrid. So if I scroll down, I see the same sort of rubric that everybody was graded um, with respect to. And if I scroll down, I see the grade that I actually got. So it shows me what was selected. Um, if, if for whatever reason your uh, assignment or your feedback shows, you know, no, you didn't choose one to two things people know about you, then you would see this part highlighted and you would have lost a point. Um, likewise, if it was late, so you get the idea. And then I scroll down further and I see da ti da and there's my feedback from myself. Um, so I hope this is helpful. And what I like, because I don't see everything that you do and I don't see everything in the same way that you do and that's true in, for in general for life when when we think about what other people are perceiving and thinking you know we just don't really know but I really don't have a great way of accessing the student view um, so if there's anything that's unclear or uh, I tell you you can see things and you really can't I probably don't know so what I really appreciate is when you tell me and then I think oh gosh boy I don't want to mislead everybody you know make confusion so then I'll go in and change it or create a tutorial video or something like that. Hey guys, I am loving this class and I really enjoy learning more about you as people. So um, what I often find is when we just dive into a classroom uh, on campus, especially if it's a big class, and I would say this is a moderately big class, I don't necessarily have the time to get to know everybody and everybody's interests and passions and just cool things about them. So 
I'm really grateful to have this opportunity to get to know you better. And it gives you the opportunity to uh, see each other and realize, oh gosh, I didn't know, you know, that um, Shelby was in this class and I don't think we have a Shelby. Or, you know, wow, that's such a cool person. I didn't know they were a communications major or a digital cinema major. And maybe we can study together. Maybe I should try and connect with them. So that's just a little bit of information. Module two assignments are up, obviously, and I'm really excited to see what you do with them. There, there are some, uh, engagement so you'll want to get started early you have to submit uh, a photo to a forum and, and talk about it and um, as well as take a, an, a, a quiz and um, do some reading and, and, and that kind of stuff but I'm really excited so um, if you have any questions at all please don't hesitate to contact me and I'll shut up or else this will be a 20 minute video which I'm great at making I really appreciate you guys keep up the great work and let me know if there's anything I can do for you or for us in this class all right Bye.